Hello and welcome to the System Design Judge. This tool is designed to help you evaluate your software architecture skills in minutes. All you have to do is click on the play button and you get a design diagram in front of you. What you need to do is fill in some components which will complete the design. Now you have a problem statement which is given to you on the right of the screen under the problem tab. This clearly defines the requirements of the problem and what you're supposed to do. Apart from this, you see a tools tab, which tells you the kind of components you can use to fill the blank spaces in this design. Let's look into how we can do that. Zooming into the first component that we want to add, we see that it is connected to a mobile client. If you want to see the description of any of these components, you can click on it and the expanding card explains to you how the component works. You'll also notice that the timer is ticking away. At the end of the timer, you will lose the game. So let's make an educated guess now that a mobile client is probably directly going to be connected to a DNS. And that's correct. So the tick mark of course says that this was fine. Amongst the remaining two components, let's fill this with a matching service that is also correct. And the final component can be a data lake, which happens to be incorrect. So you see the cross button tells you that this is a wrong component you also have a delete icon which can help you remove that component so that you can retry it. As usual you can click on the component to get more details. In this case you can see that a data lake is a centralized repository of data that stores structured and unstructured data at scale. In this case it's connected to an anomaly detector which doesn't really make sense. How is an anomaly detector going to be reading data directly from a data lake? Let's try something else. Say a NoSQL database. That also happens to be wrong and you'll notice that you're losing lives every time you're making a mistake. Of the three lives that we had initially, just one is remaining because of the two mistakes that we have made. If you run out of lives, again, you lose the game. So now we try a time series database for an anomaly detector use case and it's correct. So this design is complete. If you want to see a detailed solution, you can click on that and you can see every component described along with an explanation of why it belongs here. This is particularly useful when you are unable to finish the game correctly, where you can see what component would have been the right answer. In the end, you can always exit the game by clicking on the button on the bottom right or just pressing escape. That's it. It's a simple system design game. Thank you so much for trying it out and let us know how it goes.